everyone good morning now today i will perform you practical number 1 your first volumetric titration okay so here is your aim to determine molarity and strength of a given x molar nawh solution against m by n oxalic acid this is your aim first volumetric practical okay in burette in burette you have to fill up x mol molar nawh solution in burette you have to fill up okay in flask you have to take m by 10 or 0.1 molar 10 ml oxalic acid through pipette into your conical flask okay oxalic acid solution you have to take okay in into your flask indicator you have to perform with indicator phenol thallin one or two drop clear and your color change so your color change is color less to light pink at the end point this is your color change okay now here is your reaction look here reaction oxalic acid h2c2o4 plus twice naoh it gives na2c2o4 sodium oxalate plus twice h2o okay this is your main reaction clear now look here in oxalic acid h2c2o4 after reaction twice h plus c2o4 minus So here oxalic acid basicity is two. Okay, in your calculation, oxalic acid A one means basicity two. Clear? And in NaOH, so NaOH gives Na plus plus OH minus. So base acidity is one. Clear? So this is your first practical. You have to take A two. In calculation, you have to take one for NaOH. And two for uh, a a one two for uh, oxalic acid. Okay, a one is two and a two is one. Okay. Okay. Now listen. Here is your observation table. Here is your observation table. Okay. You have to write down your table same way in your examination also. Okay. So first one here is your pilot reading. Pilot reading means approximate reading. I told you. So here is your first pilot reading, then first reading, second reading, third reading, and here is your concurrent reading. Okay. Now here final reading. Okay. Your burette reading means final reading. Your initial reading. Initial reading means zero zero. Your set. Uh, you have to set your burette at zero scale. Okay, so initial reading is zero zero. Okay, and last one is different. Final reading minus zero zero. It's your different. Okay, difference. Now listen. Here is your concurrent reading. You have to take concurrent reading for calculation. Here is your burette reading. So here is your concurrent reading. Is your burette reading in your calculation? Okay. Okay, now friends, everyone look here. Here is your NaOH solution. Okay, NaOH solution in 250 ml beaker. Here is your oxalic acid solution. Okay, now first I will fill up NaOH solution into my burette. Here is your NaOH solution. Okay, yes. Yeah. Now. Drain some solution. Okay. Yes. Now second time fill up your solution and set zero meniscus. Here is your in burette. Here is your zero. So set your zero meniscus. I am setting here zero meniscus with lower meniscus. Okay. Lower meniscus, not upper meniscus. I told you. in last lecture meniscus system so i am setting now lower meniscus zero here is my zero okay so 
I have fill up my okay so here is your NaOS solution into your burette now I will take this is your 10 ml pipette okay and here is pipette scan so I will take 10 ml oxalic acid solution here is your oxalic acid solution so I will take 10 ml oxalic acid now look here here is method you have to suck your solution okay then use your first finger only okay and here use your first finger okay then here is scale so you have to set lower meniscus so I am setting here lower meniscus yes I have taken 10 ml solution oxalic acid okay into my conical flask so 10 ml oxalic solution okay through pipette like this way okay okay now here is your oxalic acid 10 ml now I will add phenol thallic indicator one or two drop into my conical flask phenol thallic indicator okay then stir your solution okay now I will start uh, titration okay and here first colorless solution okay at the end point develops light pink color okay remember light pink color now I am start titration do your titration drop wise okay do your titration drop wise like this way <clears throat> and when light pink color develops look here here is your light pink color light pink color okay light pink then immediately you have to stop your addition okay immediately you have to stop your addition so here is 8.1 or 2 reading clear 8.1 or 2 reading and here is your light pink color you have to stop your uh, addition immediately and take your reading through burette okay so look here now in a large scale here is 8 here is 9 so your reading is like this way 8.2 okay here 8.2 like this way okay so you have to take three readings like this way first one 8.2 8.2 8.2 okay then your concurrent reading 8.2 plus 8.3 plus 8.2 divided by 3 okay so this is your titration method okay now here is your calculation a1 m1 v1 is equal to a2 m2 v2 here is your basic formula for every volumetric titration a1 m1 v1 is equal to a2 m2 v2 okay now look here here is your oxalic acid here is your sodium hydroxide a1 means 2 here basicity of oxalic acid is 2 so a1 is 2 molarity of oxalic acid 0.1 m by 10 solution so here is your 0.1 and v1 oxalic acid 10 ml into your conical flask we have to take 10 ml oxalic acid into your conical flask so volume of oxalic acid is 10 okay now a2 a2 is 1 NaOH Na plus OH minus acid it is 1 so a2 is 1 molarity of sodium hydroxide we have to find out so x molar x molar and v2 sodium hydroxide solutions v2 means your burette reading you have to fill up your NaOS solution into your burette so your burette reading so v2 is your burette reading now look here here is your burette reading 8.2 okay so x we have to find out x so x is equal to 2 multiplied 
0.1 multiplied 10 divided by 1 divided by burette reading. So finally, your answer of molarity is x is equal to 0.243 molar. Okay, it is your molarity. And last one, gram per liter you have to find out. So here is your gram per liter, okay, of x molar. X molar means anyway. So molarity multiply molecular mass of x molar anyway. So molarity is 0.243 multiply molar mass 40 anyway. Okay, so finally your gram per liter is 9.75 gram per liter. Okay, now here we have completed our practical number 1. Thank you.